Even if you haven't heard of the Mycenaeans, chances are that you still know a bit about their culture. They were highly revered by the ancient Greeks, from whom we get many stories about their heroes, gods, and exploits. While we know a great deal about the Mycenaeans, many aspects of their culture are still a mystery, and sorting fact from Greek fiction is a task in itself. The Mycenaean civilization still puzzles researchers, from their unknown origins to their unexplained destruction. If you want to learn more about this once great culture, stay with us as we count down five fascinating facts about the Mycenaeans. Number 5. No one knows what caused the Mycenaean culture to collapse. The Mycenaean civilization was a sophisticated society that spread throughout Greece and first appeared around 1750 BCE. They built many great places, and although their cultural influence can still be felt today, Mycenaean society had completely collapsed by 1050 BCE. It is thought that this collapse started around 1250 BCE when many important Mycenaean palaces were destroyed, robbing the Mycenaean monarchs of their ability to control the population. There are many theories about what happened to the Mycenaean kings, and links are sometimes drawn between the collapse of the Mycenaean culture and a global cultural collapse known as the Bronze Age Collapse. Around the same time, many other cultures were experiencing dramatic shifts, such as the Hittite Collapse, the attacks on Egypt by the mysterious Sea People, and the societal collapse in Cyprus. However, historians disagree as to whether all these events were linked or if a global event caused much of the destruction. Another issue that historians debate is whether Mycenaean society was one cohesive nation or individual independent kingdoms that shared culture. This point is pretty crucial to identifying a reason for the collapse, as the destruction of a unified people is very different from the gradual breakdown of several linked kingdoms. However, archaeologists do agree on the stages of the cultural collapse. These stages started with the destruction of the palaces, which preceded the stopping of major construction projects, followed by the loss of the distinctive arts and crafts and eventually the abandonment of many Mycenaean sites. While there is some speculation that invaders, including the Dorians, were responsible for the destruction of the major palaces, most historians now feel that climate change and natural disasters played a significant part in the fall of the Mycenaean culture. They postulate that the area was struck with a massive natural disaster, or possibly a succession of disasters, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. These events may have been followed by an extended dry period or excessive rainfall, which caused crop failures and the eventual abandonment of the settlements. Number 4. The largest Mycenaean city was around 280 meters above sea level. Homer described the city of Mycenae as golden, with broad streets and situated in a nook of Agos, with a natural citadel due to the surrounding ravines. Surrounded by imposing mountains, Mycenae was built strategically allowing for natural defenses and the control of trade between the mainland and the Aegean Sea. The advantageous position of Mycenae means that the area was probably inhabited since Neolithic times, and during the Mycenaean era, it was the most important city in Greece. Legend has it that this was the place of Agamemnon, although as no historical record of this king has ever been found, he has been resigned to myth. However, Amateur archaeologist Heinrich Schleiman was convinced that he had found the tomb of Agamemnon when he excavated Mycenae in 1876. Schleiman was such a fan of Homer that he set out to prove that his books, once considered fiction, were based on historical fact. He was so convinced that he had found Agamemnon's tomb that he named one of the golden funeral masks found at Mycenae the Mask of Agamemnon. The tomb containing the masks was elaborately detailed and full of Mycenaean treasures. It was carved directly into the hills, and it is easy to see why Schleiman assumed it must be the tomb of the same legendary king he was searching for. Greek folklore has it that Perseus founded the city, and its name came after the cap of his scabbard, Myces in Greek, fell off at the site, which he took to be a good omen. Another tale relates how he was in the area looking for water and found a spring after picking a mushroom, also called Myces, from the ground. Number 3. They are considered to be the first Greeks. The Mycenaean culture is considered to be the precursor to the ancient Greeks. Following the collapse of the Mycenaeans, Greece fell into the Greek Dark Ages, which lasted from around 1200 to 800 BCE. By the time the ancient Greek culture flourished, 
the Mycenaeans had become legendary. In earlier culture, the Minoans was thought to have influenced the Mycenaeans. The Minoans predate the Mycenaeans, but they did coexist, and there were a few hundred years in which power clearly transferred from the Minoans to the Mycenaeans. The similarities between their architecture, burial practices, and iconography demonstrates the connection between these two cultures, and evidence of their trade relations have been found in archaeological studies. Some historians go as far as to say that the Minoans acted as intermediaries between the Mycenaeans and other cultures, including Egypt. Interestingly, while the Mycenaeans are featured in many heroic Greek tales, the Minoans are portrayed as an enemy to the mainland Greeks, with King Minos attacking Athens and feeding Athenian children to the fearsome Minotaur. The Mycenaeans are referred to as the first Greeks for several reasons. The most obvious reason is that they are the preceding culture of Greece, but there are more similarities. The Mycenaeans were the first to speak the Greek language, and although Mycenae fell into disuse, other Mycenaean centers became major city-states in ancient Greece. These include Thebes, Sparta, and, in all likelihood, Athens. The Minoans and Mycenaeans were probably related by blood as well as by trade, and both were likely from the Neolithic people of western Anatolia and Greece. The Minoans are not identified as the early Greeks because of their language. They are considered to be Europe's first literate society and had the Linear A script as well as hieroglyphic scripts found in Crete. These writings have never been deciphered, and so it is unclear what language they represent. However, many believe that it was distinctly different from early Greek. As the Minoan society seems to spring up in isolation on the Greek island of Crete, a widespread belief is that they came from a more advanced civilization and colonized the area, bringing with them advanced architecture, writing systems, and art. However, DNA analysis has shown that the Minoans were, in fact, locals descended from the Neolithic people of Anatolia and the Aegean. The only difference in the DNA of the Minoans and the Mycenaeans is the small part of their ancestry that comes from the Caucasus and Iran. Historians have previously thought that these genetics came from the pastoralists of the northern steppe. However, the Minoans do not show any indicators of this heritage, meaning that their eastern DNA arrived independently and earlier than previously thought. The most probable cause of this could have been an unknown migration event. Number 2. The Greek Heroes Were Mycenaeans The Greek poet Homer wrote many tales of the Mycenaeans, whom he called the Achaeans. For centuries, these tales were considered pure myth, as there is no evidence of the Achaean civilization other than Homer's epics. In the 1800s, Heinrich Schliemann was so convinced that Homer was describing historical events albeit with embellishments, that he decided to find the cities described in the Iliad. First, based entirely on Homer's description of the location of Troy, he found the ancient and long-lost metropolis in modern-day Turkey. Schleiman went on to discover Mycenae in the mountains of Greece, using Homer's text as his only resource. Although Schleiman's enthusiasm for the Homeric texts did lead him to some false conclusions, he managed to bring an entire culture to life. According to Greek culture, Mycenae was founded by Perseus, the son of Danae and Zeus. Some of Perseus's feats include killing Medusa and freeing Andromeda. As the Mycenaeans were such an advanced civilization, it seems evident that their stories and history would be passed down by word of mouth through the generations. Although they had a written language, they were distinctly different. The Mycenaeans did not use the Greek alphabet. The use of the Mycenaean Linear B script was abandoned around 1100 BCE and the Greek alphabet was developed around 100 years later. The generations that bridged the gap would have told stories of their once great ancestors, and, as with many origin myths, they became associated with the gods. Homer wrote his epic poems around the end of the 8th century BCE, when writing became more widespread throughout Greece. They were considered historical texts by the ancient Greeks, as their legends were a way of connecting with a past that was otherwise inaccessible. Number 1. It is said that Cyclopes constructed the walls of Mycenae. The walls of Mycenae were constructed using a technique of stacking enormous blocks of stone with no mortar and are named Cyclopean after the myth about how they were built. According to the Greek poet Hesiod, a contemporary of Homer, there was a Thracian race of giants known as the Cyclopes, named after their king, the one-eyed Cyclops. Hesiod writes that the three sons of the Cyclops forged thunderbolts for Zeus 
and later Greek authors had them as the workmen of Hephaestus, the Greek god of blacksmiths. Homer, too, wrote about the Cyclopes in the form of the next generation. These Cyclopes were cannibals living in a distant land, most often identified as Sicily, and were the children of Poseidon. Homer's Cyclopes had lost the skill of metallurgy and lived a pastoral life on the Italian island. According to the legend, Perseus, the founder of Mycenae, left for Argos after instructing the Cyclopes to use stones no human could lift to build the walls of his city. The walls of Mycenae are 8 meters thick in some areas and are thought to be built in this way for defensive purposes, as fewer blocks meant fewer weak points in the walls. The stones were often cut irregularly, and Cyclopean became the term for walls that did not have square blocks. American historian and author Harry Thurston Peck identified four different styles of Cyclopean architecture. The walls of Mycenae are made using stones that are the same height but not the same size. The other styles use either polygonal blocks that fit precisely together, rectangular boulders of varying heights, or stones of various size with any gaps filled with smaller limestone. That the ancient Greeks had lost all knowledge of the method behind this construction style is a testament to how quickly the Mycenaean culture disappeared. They were so baffled by the impressive structures that they felt it would be impossible for people to move blocks of this size, and so attributed the building to the handiwork of giants. This type of construction is found in Grecian, Cretan, and Italian structures. Interestingly, it is also found in Peru and several other pre-Columbian sites in South America, although they do not have the same mythical origins attached. If you know any fascinating facts about the Mycenaeans we missed, let us know in the comments below. How would you like to get a deeper understanding of history, impress your friends, and predict the future more accurately based on past events? If this sounds like something you might be into, then check out the brand new Captivating History Book Club by clicking the first link in the description. To learn more about the Mycenaeans, check out our book, The Mycenaeans, A Captivating Guide to the First Advanced Civilization in Ancient Greece. It's available as an ebook, paperback, and audiobook. If you found the video captivating, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.